So uh, when we as traders look at the marketplace as new investors, new traders, new speculators, um, we may or may not have the understanding that there is a smart money entity out there. And we as the larger populace of retail-minded trading, we think because of our sheer vastness, okay, we are the driver okay, of this apparatus that's called the marketplace. And we tend to think of ourselves as the drive axle of what makes the markets go up and down, which is the facade, that's the facade of supply and demand. That's the facade of trend lines driving price when it touches it. That's the facade of moving average crossovers causing prices to go up or down. That's the facade that's perpetuated and we are led to believe that that's exactly what takes place either in books or in seminars or in uh, webinars or gurus, people. And I've done this when I was younger too. I, I, I was convinced that indicators drew price up and down. And I, I packed houses on America Online when I got on a, on a chat room and people were in there flocking to hear the things that I would discuss about stochastic and RSI and Williams Press and R. And I was talking about three momentum indicators. When you, if you're just going to follow momentum, just follow one. So if anyone knows more about being in this group over here, trust me, it's me. I've been, I've been in this group enough to know that I learned more about this group over here that doesn't like to draw too much attention to itself. But contrast that with everybody in the retail. We all have Twitter accounts. We all have MyFX books that we're sharing. We're all trying to be on Instagram showing Lamborghinis and whatever else. Houses, cars, boats, yachts, girlfriends, they ain't even yours. Everybody is living large over here in the uninformed money. And smart money's over here quietly just doing their thing. Who's inside this small circle over here? The banks. Who's in here? Everybody on social media. Everybody in a retail account. All the gurus and teachers out there that have things that they're selling, services, and Yes, I have a new service, but what I'm teaching you ain't available anywhere else. See, this group, this large populace of people, they think, and I was part of this group initially, they think that the sheer vastness and size of them is much more controlling in terms of where price is going to be driven higher or lower because of the buying and selling pressure that's equated to their mere involvement in price. And that's a facade. This huge populace of trading people or traders, community in the retail realm, is really not that big. But we are led to believe that we are huge. And it, we are given this, this idea of ourselves that we're giants. We push price around. And we don't. We don't. In fact, it's this small little group of traders, okay? They're the ones that influence this entire mechanism that we call the markets. This small little group of traders is actually the drive shaft. And if this was a belt, like on a car, okay? Like an alternator. This is the actual motor spinning the whole price higher or lower. It's not this big circle of people so there has to be a paradigm shift see if you're over here thinking that it's the group of traders that is online talking amongst themselves as a whole they are the ones that make price go up and down because of their buying and selling interest because the supply and demand factors around them that's what pushes price around that's a facade and I'm here to tell you that you need to put that to bed now because I'm going to level everything you've ever imagined about the marketplace and how it really works. You have no idea where we're going. And you need to leave this realm and this circle of people and their thought processes and transition and have a paradigm shift in your thought process about how the markets are efficient. Because they're not efficient for the speculators. They're efficient for the smart money. The banks drive price. Whether you want to accept it or not, that's what's going on. And the sooner you get to that understanding and expectation of what it is that's going on in, in price, it's not for your well-being. It's for the bank's well-being. It's their business. 
they are the liquidity provider. Everyone else is liquidity. Are you a lamb or a lion? Which one? Because one of us is going to eat meat and the other one's going to stand there looking stupid eating grass. I don't want to be a part of this herd. I didn't want to be a part of it once I understood where I was. I wanted to get out of there and I wanted to live over here in this small little area. And for years I quietly made money doing nothing but focusing on the things I knew that this small group of entity of traders did. And I looked at these individuals initially with disdain thinking I'm going to come after you. I'm going to, I'm going to devour you. I'm going to do the same thing. And then as I looked at it more and more and heard stories about people and their lives, losing their homes, marriages. It tugged on me and I didn't want to just be over here being like the banks. And then I bridged over into what you saw me do in 2010. And I revealed a lot of things. In this mentorship, you're gonna learn a whole lot. But it's not meant for you to share it on your YouTube channel. It's not meant for you to share it on your blog. It's not meant for you to pass it around on Twitter. Instagram, make torrents. It's not supposed to be there. It's only supposed to be between you and I. You're welcome to share this with your uh, this information with your children and your family members. Uh, start a legacy, but don't make this common knowledge. It's going to happen. Some goober is going to take this stuff and be the one that you know. I'm the cool guy. I'm the one that got in there and made it all accessible to everyone else that she can feel the hero, like the hero that you're not really doing yourself a favor let this stuff stay well hidden you're paying for it appreciate it for what it is and don't share it it's not going mainstream you're this is the group that we have whoever can make it in between October 1st and now that's it that's it because when we leave September and October, we're buttoning up all of the free tutorial stuff and we're going right into the nuts and bolts of where we gotta go to to get to the latter months. See, when we come into the marketplace, we don't understand this. We think that this group that we're part of, we are the, 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 the market. We are the market, we're the traders. We push price up and down. If you were honest with yourself, if you've traded at any time and you look back on your trading, you probably looked at the market and you saw something like this. It, you, you knew something was going on and you just, you just couldn't put it together. You, you see these vague things that take place in the marketplace. You, your stop gets run. It looked exactly like it was going to go up, but it came only down, knocked you out, and then, then went up. You see these things happening to you, you just can't figure it out. You know there's something to it. You've had the sensation that, you know, yeah, this is rigged. My broker's out to get me. It's not really your broker. It's the interbank feed that drives price against the funds. And the brokers are going to expand the spread as well on you and knock you out. When you look at the price action as a new trader, and you didn't have this exposure to understanding how the markets are being driven and manipulated to the degree of every single minute detail, they're absolutely controlled. It's an AI. It's artificially intelligence. And it's you are not trading against a person anymore. It's a computer program that delivers price. And it knows human behavior because it's the same way it's been always. Fear and greed. So when you look at price and you've been trading for a while and you had this fuzzy picture about something going on behind the scenes but never really understanding what it was until you met me. And then suddenly there's clarity. Suddenly you understand that there's something that's been there all along. Now you can identify it. And what's more important is you understand how to track it and do the same thing it does. And by default, you become a resident of that small circle. Because this small circle is the drive shaft, it which makes the markets go around. It's not the big populace of traders. It's the liquidity provider. So you need to be thinking like this small group is over here. They're not trying to draw attention to themselves. 
They're not trying to be online flashing this and flashing that. They're just quietly in here skinning people alive. And you've been there before and just, just as well as I have. You either stay in this business long enough to leave this group and come over here or sit back in the middle here. You get real close to being there and you get bounced back to this group. You get real close to uh, you know, getting over here and you start developing a little bit more and you play tug of war. Some of you in my group right now, in this mentorship, you're in this little area right here where you can see there's some signals and signs of a real entity of smart money in play, but you're not fully convinced to leave this group yet. You have too many convictions about your tools, your indicators, your, your pet guru, your buddy that has a website that's so cool to you. It's just not enough you got to be able to release all that stuff and just leave it all behind and join the smart money because trust me we're not serving cookies but it's a way better lifestyle over here than it is over there and when we have these ideas when we look at price okay the first thing we have to do is establish who is the victim here you know generally there's a victim always in every crime <laughs> and the perspective that the speculative uninformed money has is that number one they don't acknowledge that there's a smart money uh, there is not an entity out there that has uh, quote unquote the right things always on uh, the right perspective uh, or that a market is rigged or controlled or manipulated or has any influence over long-term price delivery um, the uninformed money okay or those that are uninformed in regards to how smart money actually operates and exists in the, in the marketplace, their actual perspective really is that indicators are the answer. And uninformed money, their perspective holds the belief that price moves by indicators influence. Okay, and the influence of an indicator being overbought or oversold, that is what the precursor is to a market moving higher or lower. And I can tell you I subscribed to that for years as a new trader, and it took a long time for me to actually be broken away from that type of mindset. Um, so if you're new and you haven't been exposed to indicator-itis and you're not infected with that yet, you're actually pretty good uh, in, in terms of advantage. Uh, those that like to use it, uh, indicators are going to have a little bit of a struggle with this mentorship because I'm telling you basically you need to get that out of your system get that off your charts because it is not how you're going to be able to see smart money in fact we're going to be able to use these indicators to be uh, informed as to what the uninformed traders are actually uh, thinking so when we talk about sentiment next month you'll have a lot more understanding about what that is how it's developed and what you can do with it now obviously we only exposed one side of the the paradigm here by specifically dealing with the speculative uninformed money's perspective uh, you're not here to really so much learn about those individuals because obviously you know we all know that there's a losing crowd in the marketplace and your idea of uh, you know being a part of that group is foolish so we're here only to focus on what the smart money view is on the marketplace and that begins by understanding that there is a huge vast enormous new pool of liquidity coming into the marketplace every single day even though there's new busted accounts all the time, the statistics data tell us that 90% of traders lose their money. Large funds are in the same category. Not every fund is profitable. Just because there's a lot of people that are investing money into this fund or this fund manager does not in no way guarantee that that fund will exist a year, two years, five years from now. So we as informed traders, our perspective is, is to hold the perspective of what a liquidity provider or smart money view is on the marketplace and they put a spotlight on the aspects of uninformed money because that's what makes the world go around in the marketplace the smart money is there to provide liquidity but they're doing it at a exchange premium in other words they're putting in in trades that they're going to most likely come back to to either offset or neutralize for their interests and we're going to talk more about that as we go but for now understand that the smart money knows in fact that there is a large body of uninformed money out there contrast that with what we spoke of concerning the uninformed money's perspective is there's a lack of an entity out there that has a smart money perspective on the price they don't have an opinion or um, an idea based um, 
perspective that there is someone or some entity or entities out there that have a smart money perspective or that the banks would actually uh, you know, trade against uh, large uh, firms or funds that do that, that is against the grain of what a free market is. So when we have a smart money perspective in the marketplace, we actually use their perspective as everybody else's liquidity. And price is delivered to engineer efficiency for the smart money entities only. It's not anything outside that. So to hold the perspective of a liquidity provider, you are adopting a smart money perspective and everybody else is liquidity. And the liquidity is going to be in the form of buy stops, sell stops, pending orders above and below the market highs that are most recently uh, formed on your charts. Once we understand that, there's uh, two distinct perspectives. That's what creates the market efficiency paradigm. Both of both groups, okay, have their individual perspectives. The one that is smart money, they have the unique perspective of understanding already what the uninformed money is going to believe about the marketplace, and that gives them their edge. On top of that, they are actually in control of price. Just like anything else, if you own a storefront or if you own a business and your commodity is sold, who sets the price for that commodity? You. You're the store owner. Well, currency is owned by the bank, and they set the price on the value of that bank note or that digit on your screen that says you have XYZ number of dollars in – or francs or uh, pounds or whatever it is that you're uh, you measuring your currency in. That's east. That value is set by the central bank. That has printed that money and why this is such a uh, a speed bump for people's understanding is beyond me because if you look at the state of the world we're in right now obviously corruption <laughs> and deceit is the name of the game so um, it's not a shock to hear if you first time being exposed to this that the central banks are in absolute control of what their price of their uh, currency is and they can set it at any time at any price they want don't believe me look at what they did with the swiss franc and the euro when it was depegged instantaneous wipeout okay so once we understand pers both perspectives okay intimately okay we no longer have a at odds perspective on the marketplace we don't vilify the market maker we don't vilify smart money we don't beat up or uh, make fun of the uninformed money in fact what we do is we find a balance in between that and we don't think in terms of victim or aggressor we just think in terms of efficiency because the markets are always going to trade in an efficient manner, but it's slanted and more prone to lace the pockets of the smart money because they have the advantage of pricing wherever they want price to go to. And they already know what the perspective is of the uninformed money, and they also know how to manipulate that perspective at any given time based on chart patterns, based on indicators, based on just reactions to the market news.